Good morning, everybody. It is opening day of rifle season in Pennsylvania, which is pretty much a national holiday. One of the funnest days, or my favorite days of the year. Uh, I don't have a buck tag in Pennsylvania. I filled it with a bow, but I'm going to be sitting right with Slava this afternoon, or this morning and afternoon, depending on whether or not he kills one this morning. Uh, videotaping the whole deal, so I'm excited. We need to go get some coffee, and then we're gonna meet Slava and the guys. See you then. Well, I don't think I'm the only one with a coffee idea this morning that's going hunting. Good thing I got here a little early. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, can I get a large coffee with one cream and one sugar and a honey curler? Hi, anything else? No. Hello, Clifford. Hey, big buck slayer this morning or what? Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I know uh, Jason's ready. Oh yeah. You're gonna be in the killing spot this morning, is what I hear. We'll see. Paul, I you're guess. gonna be seeing him run. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I only shoot deer running. Okay, everybody, Slav and I are set up in the stand. It's uh, about five minutes past legal shooting, so we're ready to rock and roll, but it's really overcast and you still can't see much at all. Have yet to heard a gunshot, but we've got a wind kind of straight out of the northwest right now, which is sets up about perfect for where we're at. We got a few trees making all kinds of racket over here to our right. But there's no place I'd rather be than sitting here on opening day in Pennsylvania. I think Paul just smoked one. <laughs> How long have we been here? <laughs> Five minutes after shooting. Right? That was a kill shot. Well, folks, we've spent, we're about seven minutes into legal shooting, and I think uh, one of our guys just let one rip. It was loud. Well, folks, just got word that that was Paul that shot up here out of uh, the shanty, and he thinks he hit one. He said he started running right as he shot, so. It sounded good to me. I mean, heard a thud. Good start. Yeah, I'll give you a little sit rep here. Uh, Monty and Paul, Paul shot at that buck this morning and uh, Paul wasn't sure on the hit. Monty thinks he hit it good. They're gonna run down, check for first blood and see if, uh, what it looks like, uh, see if they got it or not. So they're about 300 yards to our right. So we're better, we're gonna be ready because when they go down in there, you know, they might blow something up our way. They're just gonna check quick and get back in the stands. That's a good sign, Slav. He's chasing. It's uh, 740, and Slav and I had a, a doe come down here right below us, and there's a little six point right on her. You know, it looked like they hadn't been bumped. It looked like total natural movement to me, like that doe could have been coming in or is in, or I mean, he was chasing her. 
So that's a really good sign. I'm, we're gonna keep our eyes peeled where she ran because there might be a few another buck or two that are on that same track. But uh, my and Paul looked for looked for blood where they uh, thought they shot the deer and didn't find anything. Uh, we're gonna look harder, you know, during uh, lunchtime probably. But. As of right now, everything's still running. Uh, Jason's seen some turkeys. I don't know about uh, Slava's old man or, or anybody else we have out, but we're hearing gunshots, so we'll keep you updated. There's a big dog working her way our way, Slava. Do you see her? Looks like it, yeah. So they saw horns, but now we got a good look. Boy, that front door is huge.
right there and just stop. Mouth wide open like she's been running hard.
It's got pretty decent palmation for a little guy. Well, it's uh, almost noon. We'll give you an update. We've seen probably 35 deer and uh, three bucks. One most likely shooter we couldn't get a shot at. It was pretty far through the woods, and Slava was able to just get a few glimpses of him. But it's been a good morning so far. We've seen a ton of deer. We're going to uh, get down here in a little bit, and we're going to look uh, with Paul where he shot his buck. and. See if we can't pick up any sign or anything of a of it being hit. So we'll see you when we get down. I got a piece of white hair right here, and then right up here there is a little speck of blood. See where you're in. I don't see. like the white hair. No. That's bone. He blew bone right out of it. Yeah, here's here's more white hair. Here's a good chunk of blood. Well, here's more chunk. Yeah, he, he hit something hard. Real hard. There's uh, another big chunk of bone over there. This is where the deer was standing when he shot it from the shanty. There's uh, another. We'll wait for Paul so we don't. Man, what the heck did he hit? That's oh, there's there's good blood here. Look at this. We'll, we'll wait for Paul so we don't ruin it for him. That's a lot of bone. Between the what does this smell like? Taste that. Look at this. I've checked this by the side. Yeah. Yeah, well you can see yeah. blood on the tree there. He hit, he ran into the tree. You can see more blood right here. There's more freaking bone. What the heck? Right Holy crap. This thing, it got deboned. This old boy's hurting, I'll tell you that much. You ever seen bone like this track in the deer? No, I haven't. Kind of weird. Blood right here. Well, no matter where the hit is, you gave him plenty of time. Still want to be semi quiet in case you need to do another. Oh, I'll get my rifle ready just in case. There's his first little bed right there. Well, we were tracking Paul's buck, and we ended up having Cooter circle around, or Jason circle around on it. And we tracked it right down here to the bottom, and sure enough, I think Jason just got shooting at him. But it doesn't sound good. We heard four consecutive shots, which usually isn't a good sign. Tag team him! Woo! Shouldn't take four shots. That's the four shots, man. That was good. Yeah. Damn. Moving the whole damn time. There we go. Couple pictures. So this this uh, must be where I nice. hit him right here. Yeah. yeah man, right. look at the brows on him. Right. Yep. And you think about it, he might have just been seven quartered. point. He might this have one. just been quartered a little more than I thought. One of these is my shots. My shot, I think, is right here. I think I hit him right in the spine. Because when he finally did stop right here on my very last shot, it flattened him. He, uh, was he stopped right here, so I'm guessing hit him right here. In the that is a nice sized deer. Oh, yeah, that's a mature buck. Oh, man. he's got well. 
Shit, we were we had Got just opened the door. Get our bus situation hey, uh, going over here. Cooter finally uh, killed a buck. Yeah. yeah, he got the one that Paul shot. I had Harley pick up some pizza if you guys are hungry. Yeah, that's a heck of a nice buck. Okay, that's fine. Well, well, if you want some, it's it wasn't there. for Paul. I never would have got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right, I'll talk to you later. It took a little bit of a team effort, but. Yeah, definitely. I'm about pizza. All right. Yep. Bye. Yep. Got some serious brows on them. Yeah, it does. G twos are freaking long. Heck of a nice buck. Mature buck. Opening. That's your first Pennsylvania buck, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Awesome. Very first one. Thank you. Awesome. Nice seven point. This one, when Paul shot it, probably wasn't seven. It was like seven oh seven. Just look at me, Cooter. Yeah. <laughs> That's going on Snapchat. Awesome. Yeah, this is the hole that uh, Cooter had, and you can see one of those four rounds hit that tree right there. But what mattered is that one of them got to right where it needed to go. Looks like uh, somebody had put an arrow right through this thing's back leg during archery season. It's a kind of a long cut and it goes right through to the other side there, full of pus. And there's Paul's uh, shot on it, which is just a hair. I mean, you're only, only about an inch from turning that into a heart shot. Just that angle, I think. Recorded a little more than I thought. Yep. Yep. That's, that's no gimme shot. That's 200 yards. Yeah. Yep. Well, we got some, uh, thanks to Harley, we got some good uh, Little Caesars pizza here, which is exactly what we need. No chili, but it'll work. Hey, this will be just fine. Later, you guys want a piece? We are back uh, to the house in New York, and uh, I'm actually going to hunt in New York this afternoon, but I had a lot of fun in Pennsylvania this morning hunting with Slava. Uh, we had a great hunt. We've seen a ton of deer. Uh, even saw a few legal bucks, just nothing worth shooting. Uh, I did want to mention that buck that Jason ended up killing that Paul shot first thing that morning. It's a deer that we know really well and we actually have a lot of history with up there on that property. Uh, it was a deer that came out in the food plot across the road uh, quite a bit during the late season the previous year. I have uh, quite a bit of footage of that buck uh, in that Nebraska food plot from the year previous that I'm showing you right now. So it's pretty cool to uh, you know get a mature deer down on the ground over there on uh, opening day and congrats to Jason on that buck. It's a really nice deer. Uh, I'm going to get ready and head back out to the uh, woods today. I'm going to be hunting over the food plot. So uh, make sure you stay tuned to the next, the next video on the channel and you'll see tonight's hunt. Thanks for watching everybody.